New here at 4 o'clock, an unexpected classroom mess canceled classes today at Lockport Township High School Central Campus. And that was it. Look at that. A ceiling collapsed. NBC 5's Courtney Sisk reports for us. Plaster, insulation, drywall, and electrical wires collapsed into a classroom at Lockport Township High School Freshman Center Thursday. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. Matter of fact, we all got a text saying the kids were going home, but they didn't give us really a great reason why. District 205 officials say a teacher noticed debris coming out of a third floor classroom doorway. Some parents shared messages from their kids saying they were not safe. Shortly after, administrators sent nearly 1,000 freshmen home. It's unclear when they'll be able to return. City administrators tell us the Lockport Township High School is actually its own form of government and has its own inspectors. And under Illinois state law, it's not subject to city oversight. We have forensic engineers. We have environmental specialists uh, inside assessing for things like air quality and asbestos. We have structural engineers on site. District Superintendent Dr. Robert McBride says the building is 114 years old and the plaster ceilings were made in 1928. In the past six elections, the school board asked voters if they approved building a brand new school. Six times voters said no. Now the board plans to put another referendum on the March 2024 ballot asking voters if they can renovate the current building. The question really is is if the community would like this to remain a school then we have to do the things that you would have to do to a 114 year old building. But that would come with a price tag of about 70 to 85 million dollars. Half of it would go towards structural and electrical integrity and ADA compliance. The other half towards remodeling classrooms. And we can like keep it a beloved building, but it needs uh, work, it needs renovation, it needs upkeep, and we'll turn to the voters in March to see if that's what they would like to do. They have to decide that. In Lockport, Courtney Sisk, NBC5 News.